Yo estoy como tengo curso de inglés. Teacher, trabajo, good evening. Oh, good evening. Eh, ya, ya hice la tarea hoy, ya la terminé hace unos minutos. Ah, ok, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Para que chequee ahí, por favor. Ah, ok, I'm going to be checking in here. Sí. Give me one second. I'm just going to try it. I am uploading information in here. I will be checking right now. Uh, is there work for? Let me see. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mister. Ahí, este, vi que tenía que hacer una tarea. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 give me one second. I'm gonna be checking that. I'm gonna be checking. Teacher. Yes. Yo regalo dos niños, no quiere uno. <laughs> what? Regalo dos niños, no quiere uno. Mira, yeah, ahorita voy a estar un momento sorry. para mientras termino de hacer unas cosas con mis hijos. Pero voy a estar oyendo. No, nah, okay, okay. That's okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. All right, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be, let me see. Uh, doing a lot of things today, people. Uh, general today, generally today, we're gonna have the introduction from a new topic, new new vocabulary, and all those things. Today we are not going to be working with one specific structure or grammatic. Grammatically speaking, one specific structure, right? Like the ones that we were practicing uh, these past days. Today the class is mostly about talking uh, topics related to the companies, right? So that's what we are going to basically be doing uh, today. So as I told you, we're gonna be practicing some conversations. We're gonna be doing some exercises and the whole class is just going to be based on speaking, okay? So it's gonna be based on uh, giving your opinions, related to the, the, the specific topic that we're going to be talking about. And uh, of course, you're going to be talking about your companies and all those things, right? That's what we are going to be doing. All right, so just give me one second, Carlos Chavez. Yeah, I mean, yeah Carlos, you got 90, 92% uh, hey. from the number two, uh, from number number one. Este, quería saber y lo que no hicimos la tarea ayer, tenemos Man. cero ya. Man, but you have to do it anyways. Gracias por yeah, participar you... nada más. <laughs> yeah, you need to do it, all right? Remember, it's really important to do the homework, right? It's really important because I have to send that uh, information to InsaForb. So please, please, people, if you have not done the homework yet, let's do it, okay? Do it. Uh, Andrés, in your case, solo tiene el 20% del 100, right? And Stay here. Yeah, I mean, I, I need the rest of the homework, all right? At least for today. Yo no pude, yo, yo no pude hacer la número 4. Number 4? Okay, listen. In that case, ya necesito, let me see el apoyo de Andrés para que me lo termine, solo tienen 20%. Uh, let me see Cindy, pero Cindy no se ha conectado. Teacher. Yes. En la plataforma donde teníamos que poner la puntualidad. Un ratito. La puntualidad y todo eso, la honestidad, a mí la, cuando puse puntualidad, uh -huh. me salió como que era mala. Really? Sería que no lo escribí bien. A mí me pasó lo mismo también. Probably it was because you didn't write it correctly. Probablemente no lo escribieron de manera correcta, por así decirlo. Oh, give me one second. I'm, I'm going to check. Tiene un error, teacher, la plataforma. Check. Ahorita voy a revisar eso. ¿Será que class? teníamos que ponerle los puntos? Porque la vez pasada eso era el problema, que tenía exactly. que ponerle un punto al final, pero no, no sé. No, Joana, sí tiene un error. Number four. Ah, okay. Tarea número cuatro, ¿cierto? Tiene C después de la N, puntualidad, y tenías que ponérselo, si no, no te dejaba pasar. ¿Cómo? O sea, sí. punk con C. Entonces, ah. como la plataforma lo tenía así, si no lo ponías con esa C, no te dejaba pasar de ahí. 
Entonces, ah, pues yo soy inteligente. Plataforma. La plataforma cero, yo no. Ok, ok, ok. Give me one second, ladies. Punctuality, llévase. Sí, yo lo puse así. Ajá. Pero me no, salía no. que no. Ah, y eh. dice, dice Carlos que igual le pasó. No sé si lo escribió bien. Carlos Chávez. Sí, lo verifiqué con Google y todo estaba bien. Me daba incorrecto. ¿Really? Igual. Sí, tiche. Está raro. Look. ¿Y, ¿Y saben por qué les digo que está raro? Porque acabo de escribir eh, punctuality y me acaba de salir correcta. Look. Pueden revisar. Y me aparece como correcta, ahí lo acabo de escribir. Teacher, ya revisó que yo estoy al, al, al 100%, ¿verdad? Uh, I'm going to be checking right now. Give me one second. Ah, no, teacher, pues no ganó la plataforma. Yo no lo escribí así. <ríe> ¿Cómo lo escribió usted? Goodbye, me voy. <ríe> Pero Ay. mi dignidad se va conmigo. <ríe> ¿Cómo lo escribió usted? Ah, ¿cómo, cómo? No le escribí la C, teacher. Lo escribí ah. punctuality. No, the word punctuality va con C. Punctual, ah, de puntual, ah, right? Puntualidad. Me voy con right? mi dignidad, sorry. <laughs> If you are punctual, you show punctuality. That's the way, right? <laughs> okay. All right. That's, that's, that's the one. Now, but in this case, yeah, I mean, you got to be, you know, like, like, like doing this, people, because I, I, I truly need, I truly need this information for you. All right, to put it in the into the into the into the a list of, of grades. Look, it's not it's not that it's not that I'm just like showing you. Look, in that case, I mean, uh, Andres is now sixty percent. Cool, Andres, thank you. Uh Carlos is, continues with ninety two percent. Carlos, he continues with ninety two percent. All right, Mauricio, that's ninety six. Yeah, man, let's see. There are very few people uh, that had that had a hundred percent. Casi la mayoría anda por 60, 88, 80, all right, and things like that. So teacher, we need to teacher, hasta, hasta qué número de, de completar, disculpe. A hundred percent. Tiene que ser un cien al cien por ciento. Porque yo ya la hice todas esas según 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 sí, yo. Escuché. Yo estoy al cien ciento. Uh -huh. Now, listen, 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 people. A lo mejor alguna les ha salido mal y por eso les aparece esa puntuación. No les aparece el 100%. Y cuando dejamos esa así, erróneamente, y no la, no la uh, modificamos, ahí es donde nos aparece esa, esa parte. Look, uh, for example, look at this. Vaya. Si ustedes quieren ver cuál es o en qué partes ustedes han fallado que no tienen, no tienen todo completo, vámonos acá, listen, listen, acá, a la barra donde dice progreso, y le dan clic ahí a esta sección donde dice progreso, ok, a uh, in here, si pueden ver acá, les va a aparecer un, 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 un recuadro como este, acá dice homework number one, que es correspondiente a semana uno, homework number two, que es semana 2, homework number 3, semana 3, homework number 4, semana 4. Ahora bien, listen, acá les va a aparecer así como está acá. Pero lo que eh, eh, me interesa que vean es esta parte. Mira. Acá ya está más específica. This is more specific. Look, in section 1, corresponde a la semana 1. Si ven acá dice puntuación de problemas, 0 de 20, 0 de 20, 0 de 20, 0 de 20 en 5 ocasiones. Esto equivale a cada tarea que ustedes hacen. Este corresponde a tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3, 4, 5. Section 2. Y lo mismo. Si acá usted tiene 20 de 20, significa que tiene el 100% de la clase hecha. De esa tarea, de, de esa clase específica hecha. Si usted tiene acá igual 20 de 20, 20 de 20. Pero si acá usted tiene, ¿qué? 15 de 20, significa que en esa, en esa tarea específica, Usted falló en más de alguna, en alguna pregunta, right? O no completó alguna, uh, algún ejercicio, alguna oración que se le pedía, right? Entonces, acá es donde ustedes pueden ver de manera más detallada si ustedes tienen el 100%, ok, de la nota, right? En esta parte de acá. 
That's the one. Uh, Carlos, uh, are you speaking, Carlos? Sí, le preguntaba que yo dejé en blanco esa porque no recordé qué valor era la del líder. Ahí lo escribí. Ah, ah ok. Cool. Ah, leadership, dice Raquel. All right, there you go. Yeah, that one. All right. Ok. Ya, Mr. Gamero. Sí, ahorita son los 16, 20 tengo en la última, ¿verdad? Ah, Pero entonces... yo me, sí me recuerdo que me equivoqué en una, en una. En ah, una. ok, ok. Entonces sí, ahí, ahí es el pequeño fallo acá. Aunque esa, esa inclusive la puede. Yo ya estaba aquí antes. Eh, o sea que si la corrijo sale normal después. Ya, yeah, ya sale con el 100%. Ok, ok. Ok, cool, thank you. All right. So this is part of what you were supposed to be doing, ok? I hope you to finish this, people. Para los que de verdad no lo han terminado, please finish it today. Necesito, necesito esa nota de ustedes, ¿ok? I, I do really need that, that uh, grade from there. So I'm going to stop in here this thing. And I'm going, to, I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's like 11 minutes and I haven't passed the attendance list, ¿ok? So let's start with uh, Andrés Joel. Hi. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Good. Cindy okay. Melanie. All right. Cindy. Hi. Okay, Cindy. Ah, uh, Cindy, uh, uh, for you too, Miss, please try to try to do the five homeworks. Please. Okay. Uh, necesito sus notas también, Cindy. Please. Okay. Ah, okay, all right, cool, Carlos. Yo ya voy a revisar. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to continue. Um, Stephanie Michel. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Let's move. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I don't even know what this is happening. All right, Joanna Sarai. I'm here. <laughs> okay, cool. Jorge Alberto. I am in his head. He is hiding there. It's there. Jose Edgar. Presente. Okay. okay, thank you. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I was checking that. No, I mean, Manuel is not here, right? Okay, cool. Juan Gilberto. I mean, Juan Gilberto sent some messages to the group and he said that he was no longer continuing with the group. That was weird. Julio Cesar. Okay, Julio's not here yet. Cool. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, Karen, thank you. Let's move. Carla Lisette. Present. Now, okay, excellent. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Now, okay, thank you, Miss. Veronica Areli. Present. Okay, good. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, Wendy, uh, the same for you, please. I need your uh, your grades for today, okay? At least for today. And let's see, William Ernesto. Ah, William is the one that told me that he's busy. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Carlos Josue. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And Reynaldo Chavez, which is not here, right? Okay, cool. So let's Hicieron start. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me. Disculpe. Este, como ya se fueron varios, creo que Chavez y, y otra persona ya no, ya, ya no van a estar ellos aquí, ¿verdad? En el, en el grupo. Entonces, uh -huh. te preguntó eso de que si podía quedar fijo y, o ya, y ya no ser oyente. Ah, uh, I'm going to be talking that with the... You know, with the superiors, and let's see what they say. Okay. Vamos a hablar eso. Voy a comunicar eso con ellos para ver qué dicen. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be talking that. Okay, cool. Let's start with the things that we got for today. So please, people, eh, lo que les acabo de mencionar. Give me a second. What is this? Please, please remember, I need the grades for today. Okay. I need that information for today. Okay. Try to be, uh, you know, like conscious on that. So let's just start with some discussion topics. This is going to be the topic uh, that we're going to be discussing tonight. Look at this. Uh, remember, this is the first class from week number two, basically. Okay. So this is the video conference number six. And today's topic is just going to be industry vocabulary. So we're going to apply the vocabulary, okay, related to the industry today. So we're going to be talking about that. As I told you, we are going to be practicing the conversation and we are going to be discussing about what uh, is the industry that we are basically working on. Of course, in here, I have different companies with you guys. And that's what we are going to be uh, talking, okay? Now, what is the most relevant for today's class? Look at this. We're going to have the review from the previous class. We're going to be remembering what we were discussing yesterday in the class. Then we're going to have a conversation, okay, related to the topic for uh, tonight. And then we're going to introduce the vocabulary related to the industry, okay? We're going to be working with that uh, vocabulary also. And then we're going to complete some exercises that we have in the manual related to the topic. And then we're going to be checking those exercises, right? And at the end, we are going to be finishing the class with one activity, okay? Just related to the topic. But in order to start with this information, okay, uh, let's start remembering what were we discussing yesterday. If you remember yesterday was a crazy class because most of you were not connected due to uh, the raining, right? Basicamente ayer terminamos la clase como con siete u ocho. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you were, were not connected due to the raining, I guess. Supongo que fue debido a la, a la, a la fuerte tormenta que estaba casi en todo el país que no se pudieron conectar algunos, bueno, la gran mayoría, por así decirlo, right? So that's why we were working just very few people. But it's good to see, uh, you know, like the majority in here. So that, 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 is, that is cool, that is nice. So we're going to start uh, today's class with some questions to discuss. From now on, we're going to be using these questions just to practice a little bit about speaking before introducing the main topic, okay? But the questions are related to the topic that we're gonna be discussing, of course. Let's start with the first question. Uh, Xiomara, can you please help me out reading the question? Okay, do you often attend seminars? Okay, seminars. all right, thank you. Do you often attend seminars? In the place where you work, do you often attend seminars? Or you have never gone to a seminar? Por lo general, ustedes eh, atienden a, 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 o asisten a seminarios, eh, digamos, convocados por las mismas empresas donde trabajan. Or you, you don't know anything about that? This is just to share, all right? This is just to share what we know. For example, I'm going to start with, uh, let's see, Emmanuel. Do you attend seminars in the place where you work, Emmanuel? It's not usually to, to attend seminars in my enterprise. Ah, okay. It's not usually. So, uh -huh. so only I had to, to search uh -huh. a meeting session wow. where we had some topics similar to seminar. Mm. Okay. okay. I, I feel that it's, it's very important because I overcame uh, some some situations that happens in the life in my case. Ah, okay. All right. Pretty interesting. 
Thank you for your participation, Emmanuel. Uh, Carlos Chavez, how about you? Okay, teacher, I rarely have a seminar. Really? Rarely? Rarely. Ah, okay. But you generally go when, they, when there is a seminar uh, to attend related to the company that you work in, uh, do you attend to those, to those seminars? In, in, in my actual job, it's very, it's very rarely, and I never have a seminars. Ah, okay, cool. Is this acceptable? It's very, so it's weird. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of weird, kind of weird. All right, but that's acceptable. There you go. Uh, how about you, Karen? Do you often attend to seminars? Yes. Ah, how often do you go to seminars in the place where you work? Talking about a year. I usually attend seminars. Ah, okay. If we talk about a year, how many seminars did you attend in a year? More than five? Maybe eight. No, okay, maybe eight. That's acceptable. Okay. And that's to, to, to promote innovation to, the, to your department or, or where the, the work that you do? It's usually for training. Ah. And there are uh, seminars about public policy. Ah, okay. Mm, really interesting. All right, there you go. Thank you, Karen. All right, Carla, how about you? De vez en cuando. <laughs> Sometimes? Really? Ah, uh, okay, but it always is related to the place, you know, to the workplace. Siempre relacionado a su, a su, uh, por así decirlo, su ambiente laboral. Yes. Everything. Ah, just, uh, just to apply innovation, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In a year, how many seminars uh, do you generally attend? Um, más que todo como capacitación dan uh -huh. como reforzar lo que estamos viendo porque a veces nos equivocamos ah ok ok cool no, well, very interesting nice Carlos Gamero how about you I, I don't attempt Seminar. You don't attend seminars? Okay. It's because you don't go or it's because in the company there I, is no seminar? I don't. I don't. Ah, okay. You're the one that don't go. Mm, okay, cool. Acceptable. Andres, how about you? Andres. Andres, are you there? <laughs> okay. Okay, he stood up and he's gone. All right, that's crazy. All right, let's see. After a good moment, uh, Wendy, how about you, Wendy? Hola. Hi. Uh, sí. Yeah. Uh, I attend seminars. Okay. How many? Uh, they are mm -hmm. usually is uh, the recursos humanos ah, para tratar okay. personal. Ah, okay. That's related to human resources. Mm, okay. That was good. Ah, you work in human resources department? En el departamento, la verdad es que soy multifunciones. 
Ah, ok. Eh, me mandan a supervisar eh, recursos humanos de todo. Ah, ok. Creí que era de recursos humanos. Ah, ok. Ah, right. oh, that's acceptable. Ok, cool. Ok, cool. Let's, let's, let's start over. I'm going to ask for the last participation in this case. Uh, let's see. Alguien que tenga la cámara para uh, 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 Raquel. Hi, teacher. Hi. How many seminars do you generally attend in a year? Uh, in a year? In, in anything. Nothing? Really? No. So, uh, in the place that you work, you, you they don't do any type of seminar to innovate? No. The personal? Ah. No. I saw you used to do those things. No, okay. no, we don't have seminars. And what is what is the job that you do? What uh, are supervisor. You ah, you're supervisor, a supervisor of constructions. Ah, really? Yes. That's nice. I mean, so then that's why you don't have any any uh training or any seminars to attend, right? I mean, it's not. It's no, not because common. we are very busy, we don't have time. <laughs> very busy. Yeah, I mean, in, in, in part, yeah, I mean, it's true. That's true. Okay, look at the second Ooh. question. Is it easy for you to socialize at events like a seminar or a training or as you want to call them? Do you generally socialize with other people in those type of events? Let me see who can help me out with that. Michelle? Mm, hola. hola, me escucha. Yes. Teacher, no tengo la cámara encendida porque estoy en una cancha. Ah, oh. oh, ok. Es que ando con mi papá y me dijo que tenía que ir a jugar y tenía que esperar. Así que ni modo. Ok, cool. Como cuando tienes clase y partido de fútbol a la misma vez. Dice. No, así ni me gusta. Ah, come on, Stephanie. All right, Stephanie. Uh, do you generally socialize when you attend a, a seminar or a training? Do you socialize? Eh, Is it for you to socialize with people? No, teacher, a nada. No, I mean, I mean, I'm not telling you that if you go to seminars. I'm telling you if it is easy for you to socialize with another person. Que si es fácil para usted socializar con otras personas cuando, eh, digamos, atiende o, o, o va a, a este tipo de eventos. Nunca, nunca me han enviado a un seminario. Never? <laughs> nunca. Okay. And uh, when you're in a group, okay, no, no matter if it is a seminar or something like that, but if you're into a group, is it easy for you to socialize? Eh, ¿Es sencillo para usted poder socializar con otras personas? Uh, no. Soy muy tímida. <laughs> you, shy. Sí, no sé ¿Sí? por qué. Usted es tímida. Sí. Ajá, ok. Right. Es raro, ¿verdad? Super weird. Es como decir que Carlos es, 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 es eh, bien callado. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like he's similar to that. But anyway, I'm going to believe you. Le voy a creer. Eh? I'm going to believe you. Es esto. Quizás por eso no me ponen a hablar. Ajá, ajá. Ok. <laughs> ajá, ok, cool. All right. Uh, Carlos Gamero, how about you, man? Is it easy for you to socialize? ¿Es sencillo para usted poder socializar en, algún, en eventos como este? Yo este, creo que sí, pero no, 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 no le encuentro las palabras ahorita. Ve que sí, pero... Ah, ok. Uh, le, le, I, I guess, 
I guess you can you it, it is easy for you to socialize with other people, right? In that case. Let's suppose you are in a in a seminar with all these people. Do you think it would be easy for you to socialize with them? Creo que si acá, si esto fuera un seminario, right, y no fuese virtual, si fuera fuese presencial, ¿cree que le sería fácil a usted socializar con todos ellos? Yes, I do. Nah, you see? So, it's likely similar to the same, the same thing that I was asking, right? So, basically, the people that you're going to be working with in those type of events are people always related to your, your workplace, right? That's why I was asking this type of questions. Now, look at this. How do you usually break the ice or make people feel more friendly to talk to each other? For example, in meetings and everything. Uh, I'm gonna ask Andres. Andres, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Andres. Is it easy for you, all right, uh, to break the ice at the beginning? You know, like when nobody's like is speaking into a meeting or training or seminar. Break the ice in este caso es como le resulta sencillo a usted como romper el hielo y comenzar a hablar con alguien, all right, con otras personas eh, en reuniones, seminarios, or whatever. Uh, no, teacher, um, it's very difficult because I am shy and I don't, ¿cómo se dice? Bromas, joke, joke. You don't joke? Joke. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Bueno, okay. And you know what? You look different, man. You, you look like a person that is very talkative. Andrés, nadie lo aguanta, teacher. What? ¿Cómo así, Eso Joana? de que le cuesta socializar es mentira. Es mentira, no le crea. Uh, really? Is that, is that, uh, ah, o sea que me está dando mentiras. Ah, Andrés. Okay, es cool. la cara de humildad que no lo, no lo convence. Mm -hmm, ok, cool. And how about you, Joana? How do you break the ice? ¿Cómo se rompe el hielo? Ahí le cuesta más. ¿Really? How, how do you sí, break sí, the yo ice? Una, yo soy una persona demasiado amargada. <laughs> What? Mis compañeros le podrán decir. ¿Really? Mentira. No me cuesta mucho socializar. No lo puedo decir en inglés. Ah. It's not easy to socialize with you? No. Es eh, bien fácil. Ah, ok. Cool. Ya, yeah, I mean, I can tell. Ya lo, 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 lo puedo percibir, right? <laughs> ok, cool. All right. It's so, by the appearance. It's just by the appearance. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. That's, that's certainly true. And let me see. I'm uh, going to ask this, the, the last person with this. Veronica, how about you? Is it, is, it for you, is, it, is it for you to socialize with other people? Mm, I don't start speak. You don't what? No. Como quiero decir que me cuesta comenzar a hablar a mí, pero sí puedo. Sí puedo hablar con alguien cuando habla conmigo fácilmente. Ah, ok. Usted no es de las personas que si está alguien desconocido en el, hacia la par suya en un training o something like that, no es de las que empieza con una, con una librita, un librito así como que y empieza, qué calor, ¿verdad? Usted? En estar socializing like that. Depende ¿No? de la situación, quizás. Ah, depende de la situación. So, cuando ya se han ganado su confianza, ahí sí, explode everything. Exactamente. Ah, ok. Y se quedan así como diciendo, oiga, pero cuando la conocí al principio, ¿qué no era así? Más o menos así. Something like that. Ok. All right. That's acceptable. Ok, people. 
listen up. So basically, uh, that's part of what we're going to be uh, discussing throughout uh, the whole class. But let's uh, start with something. Listen, uh, related to the, you know, like the companies that we're going to be discussing and everything, I have a short conversation in the manual. And I would like to start with that short conversation because, you know, like in this conversation, we're going to be talking about the main topic from the whole class. So let's go to the page 19 from your manuals. In page 19, for the ones who got the manual printer, you can see this short conversation that is in here. And it says, listen. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner, right? It says at a seminar. So basically this, this conversation is based about these two people that are in a seminar, okay? They are in a seminar and they are talking about their company, okay? So what are we going to do? We're just going to read the conversation all right, if you, don't, if you have any question related to the vocabulary from that conversation, let me know at the end of the reading and I will clarify any question that you might have related to the vocabulary. Then we're gonna go into a practice because I need you to practice this conversation. And after the practice, we are going to do a short activity that goes in here. But I, I will explain that later on, all right? What it matters right now for me is that you practice this short conversation. So let's start. If you take a look in here, this conversation is between Rick and Jack. They are in a seminar, right? It says Rick. My name is Rick. Listen. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It says Jack. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. I work for Inex Inc. It says Rick. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? What does Inex Inc. do Jack. This is Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Listen. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. It says Rick. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Does INEX have many branches? Okay, it says, it says Jack, yes, it does. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And then it says three. And uh, where are the headquarters? Where are the headquarters? Right? And then it says, Jack, they're in Panama. They're in Panama. Okay? There you go. From all this conversation, people. From the whole conversation, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Everything clear, teacher. Everything clear? Nothing about the vocabulary? Alguna pregunta? Este, yo, yo, yo tengo dos. Car, okay. Cardboard y headquarters. Okay. Cool. Significado. Uh, all right. Listen. Cardboard is carton. Right? That is. That's, that's what it is. And headquarters. Car yeah. Teacher. Yeah, okay. Uh, give me one second, Joanna. One second. And the okay. next, and the other word, Carlos, the other word, branches, right? Or headquarters. No, headquarters. Creo que me dijo, ¿verdad? That's one. Headquarters. Cool. Headquarters, 
básicamente es relacionándolo a una empresa, básicamente es la casa matriz, ¿ok? De una empresa. Ok. Uh, very good. Uh, Joana, were you about to say something? Eh, donde dice ya, we manufacture cardboard boxes for packing. Así se dice. Packaging. Packaging. Yeah, packaging company. Okay, thank you. Very good. Something else? Do you have any question with, uh, with the vocabulary? For example, what are branches? ¿Qué significa la palabra branches? Marca. Sucursales, sucursales. Ah, yeah, I mean, in this case, are sucursales. Headquarters, casa matriz, por así decirlo, right? Eh, donde está fundada básicamente la, la empresa, ok, desde sus inicios. And then branches, son básicamente sucursales, right? Let's, let's put that into, into the practice. Cool people. Uh, ok. I understand some of you are working. Tengo entendido que algunos de ustedes están trabajando, pero los demás, ¿por qué me tienen la cámara apagada? I'm ready, teacher. Ah, ok. Ah. Aquí estoy. Ah, ya, yeah, man. You, you are in the I'm game, man. Este, este está de, de portera ahorita, Stephanie. Ya, yeah, man. Yeah. Ok, cool. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I need to see you because uh, I don't know if you are not there and I put you with a person that you are not going to be practicing with. So let me see. Just. No, but that guy is there. He's there. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Cindy, are you there? Can you practice the conversation with a, uh, with a partner right now? Oh, let me see. Okay, I guess Cindy can, can practice the conversation. Okay, I'm gonna send you to practice this short conversation for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna come back in here and let's practice the conversation in here. And then we're gonna continue with the exercises that are in there, okay? So that's part of what we're gonna be doing. Give me one second. How many people are there here? 17 people. So I am focused. Jesus. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to put you here into the practice area. And then, and now it's Julio is getting connected. Okay, cool. Julio, are you there? Julio says that. Can you listen to me? Mm. And I need Julio to, to, to make this with three people. But anyways, I'm going to put you from eight people then. Okay, give me one second. Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, he's there. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'm just moving some people. Give me one second. Okay, I think the groups are already done. Ah, but William is not. It's not. It's not there. Okay, I'm gonna make some moves in here. Three and four. Okay, so let's go to practice that short conversation. Then we're going to come back in here, okay? I just need you to practice the vocabulary, especially. Let's go, people. Let's accept. And let's go and practice that vocabulary.
Nadie la tiene la conversación. Hola. Hey, Nana, you got the conversation? Pues creo que no. Ok, take an screenshot. Voy a tomar entonces la screenshot, teacher. Ok, let's do it. Gracias. Perfecto. Ahí estamos ya. Ok, thanks. Vale, okay. compañero, entonces ahora sí podemos este, proceder a, a practicar. Inicia tú. Va, solo voy a. I next. I next, I and C, creo que. I next, go. I and C. Ajá. Teacher, así es. I and C. Or you can say ink. Ink. Oh, okay. Ink. Okay. Bye. What does Inex ink do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, oh, I see. Does Inex how many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are headquarters? headquarters? They're in Panama. Ok, empieza, empieza usted y luego yo. Y de ahí practicamos okay. con Joan. Bye. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture car cardboard box boxes for. Sí, hace. Ya está haciendo por aquí. Estamos aquí. socializando. Aquí echándoles un ojo, ya están a, poniéndose de acuerdo a saber en qué, ¿verdad? Mm. En la clase, teacher, qué <risa> Mire usted la cara que le hace poner a uno, yo cuál. <risa> en Oaxaca, es with that face, man. Nah, man. <risa> ¿Y por qué no enciende en la cámara, dice el teacher? ¿Por qué será? Yes. <risa> y usted, y usted ahí ya. Con un, con un peine jalándose. Del... Sí, yo No, Dios guarde, qué pena. I'm sorry, man. I know, but that's a requirement. I cannot do anything. Sí, no. <laughs> Más que uno viene a trabajar todo. Ah. I know, man. I know. There are days that, that you just want to sleep in the seat. <laughs> Ya quiero estar dormida. Ya, yeah, me, me too, me too, believe me. Es un gran sacrificio, de cual. Yes, anyway. <laughs> yes. Sí. I, I want to, I, I'm doing the sacrifice to teach you English and you are doing the sacrifice to learn the English, you see? <laughs> We are both getting the sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, good. Cool. Let's continue, guys, right? Okay. I'm gonna be checking another group. See you later. All right. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work from Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? Factory car. We manufacture cardboard box for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are they? Headquarters. Headquarters. They're in Panama. 
My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. Hey, what does Inex INC do, Jack? We manufacture cargo boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the help? Aha, uh -huh. have you been practicing? Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give me one second, guys. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put the chair here, okay? Give me one second. Sorry. Hola. Hola, practicamos otra vez. Uh -huh. Si querés, Rick, tú. Vaya. My name is Rick. Nice to meet. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Team. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for the packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Mm. Sir, ¿cómo se dice Inex Inc. o con um, Inex, Inex Inc. I, Inex, Inex Inc. Inc. Yeah, like that. And the oh, other one is, is headquarters. You know, I remember headquarters. Headquarters. Yeah, that was exciting. Perfect. All right, let's keep working. Uh, just for a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna go to the main station. Okay. Okay. We manufacture we we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does INIX have many branches? Yes, I does. We have three manufactured branches in the country. And where are their headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. All right. Are you, I, I think you have been practicing enough, right? Okay, teacher. Uh huh. Any questions? I want a question. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Um, cardboard. ¿Cómo se, se la palabra? Uh, ¿Cómo es la forma correcta de pronunciarla? Cardboard. Yeah, I mean that one. Cardboard. 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 Yes. Cardboard. Exactly. Cardboard. Exactly. Hey. La otra que teníamos dudas era packaging. Está bien así. Yeah, packaging. That's the one. Packaging. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, y en la que sí tenemos problemas es en la, en la última participación de Rick. Uh -huh. Dice, eh, where are the headquarters? Ah, headquarters. Headquarters. Quarter. Yeah. Es como, como, como pronunciar cuarto de dólar. Quarter. Exactly, no. exactly. Quarters. Headquarters. Quarters. Headquarters, yes. Okay. That's the one. All right, cool. All right, no more questions. So let's go to practice to the main session. I want to listen to you there, okay? okay. Let's go. I'm going to finish the breakout room. See you there. Okay. All right, so hello everybody. You're it's raining. Back. Is it raining by the place where you yeah. live? Really? 
Yes. Good on you, man. Good on you. And here now, man, it's not raining. And a lot of sancudos. There are a lot of sancudos there? Yes. Now, man, in here too. I'm putting some 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 things in here for, for mosquitoes. Ya me tiene, creo que ya me, me han estado comiendo todas las. <laughs> yeah, I mean everything. So that's that's uh you know like part of the winter, right? That's part of the winter. And we can do anything. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's start with the things that we got. Uh, I'm gonna put the conversation in here and I want the participations of some of you. I'm gonna start with uh a trio. Uh, Michelle, and I don't remember the the other ones. Jorge and Joanna. Ah, Michelle, Jorge, and Joanna. Okay, cool. So, Empiezo yo. Yeah, I mean, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, you and Jorge. Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work. Or Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex how many branches? Uh, and where are the headquarters? No, ya, ya me confundí. Uh, <laughs> que, na, 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 eh, Jorge, yes. A, Jorge, yes, this, this he does. Is, we have three manufacturing branches in the country. Uh, and where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, perfect. Do you listen to me, guys? Everybody listen to me? Yes, teacher, very yes. well. Ah, okay, yes. cool. Es que me está diciendo Emanuel que no me escucha. Can you listen to me now, Emanuel? Can you listen to me now? One second. Yeah, I mean, it might be the sign. Okay, cool. Now, uh, so Stephanie was working with uh, uh, Jorge. Now, Jorge, I want you to work with uh, the other participation. Who was it? Joanna. Ah, Joanna. Okay, let's go. Okay. Quien comienza? Uh, in this case, uh, Jorge is going to start because he was the second in the first participation. Okay. Repeat again, Jorge. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Ah, okay. Cool. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX Inc. Cool. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for the packaging company. Oh, I see that. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, I do. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Ah, okay, very good. Now let's finish the cycle. Ah, uh, da, 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 let me see. Not actually, we have already finished that with that way. Cool. Now uh, let's say Carlos Josue. Okay, teacher, I'm ready. Cool, man. Let's go to work with the partners that you were working. Okay, Ivania. Somos tres. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same as the previous group. So right now, Carlos, work with Ivania then. Okay. Usted empiezo yo, Ivania. Empiezo yo. Okay. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex in dog, Jack? 
we manufacture cable boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Enix have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches. And where are the headquarters? They, they are in Panama. They are in Panama. Okay, very good. Perfect. Now let's continue. Uh, so Ivania, work with the with the who who was the other person that you were working in? Jose Edgardo. Eh, Jose Edgardo. Ah, okay, very good. Eh, inicia él entonces, en esta. Yes. Bueno. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does I need in to Jack? We manufacture cable box for packing company. Oh, I see. Does I need have money bridge? Yes, right? it does. We have three manufacturing branch in the country. I where are they hardware? They are in Panama. Okay. okay, they are in Panama. Thank you to you three people. You did a great. Now let's move. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see who's next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wendy. Hola. All right, Wendy. Who were you working with? Trabajé con Andrés Zuniga. Okay. Perfect. Let's go and practice. Vaya. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes. It does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Headquarters, uh-huh. They are in they are in Panama. Okay, very good. They are in Panama. Thank you, Wendy and Andres. You did it excellent. Now Carlos Gamero, who were you working with? With Miss Xiomara. Okay, cool. Let's go. Right now, but we listen to you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. And Xiomara, you did it excellent. Now let's continue with this. Uh, Veronica, and if I'm not grown, Julio Cesar. Okay. okay. My name, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Annex Inc. What does Annex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. They are in Panama. All right. Cool. Thank you, Julio. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, Veronica, right? Who? Cool. Carla. Who oh, were you working with, Carla? Emmanuel. Ah, you were working with Emanuel. Emanuel, are you there? Emanuel, 
Let me see. What is Manuel? Is it here? Uh, is 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 it here, Emmanuel? No, 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 no. I I think Emmanuel has got that problems with the internet, so that's why he's not here. So I'm gonna put a volunteer for you to help you out with the practice, okay? And I know, man, Emmanuel is coming. Give me one second. He's he's getting connected. Probably he's having issues with the internet. Emmanuel, are you there? Can you listen to me, Emmanuel? Mister? Ah, so probably that's why. A lo mejor por eso es que no me escucha muy bien que se diga. All right, so uh, it's going to be acceptable. All right, but Carla. I want a, vo a volunteer to work with Carla. Who can help out Carla? Necesito un voluntario para que me ayude a la práctica con Carla. Hey, teacher. Cool, Carlos. Thank you, man. Carla and Carlos, good, man. The, the good dupla. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Jack, I work for Inex In. What does Inex In do, Jack? We manufacture cable boxers for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the. And where are they? Headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Yeah, I man, it's frozen. <laughs> they are in Panama. Thank you. I, I, I read it for you. Yes, man, they are in Panama. I'm sorry, teacher. I lost connection. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, got, I, 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 I knew it. Sí, me lo supuse. Ahí estaba todo frisado. Man. Okay, cool. Let me see who's next. Okay. You, or, thank, you, thank you, Carla. And thank you, Carlos, for, for helping me out with that. Mm -hmm. right? Cool. Now, Karen and uh, if I'm not grown, Raquel. We're going to be the last pair. My name is okay. Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing, packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, very good. They are in Panama. So thank you, Karen, and thank you, Raquel. You did it excellent. So will you guys uh, have finished the practice from this short conversation? Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list, and then we're going to continue with part that we have in here. Give me one second. Mm, I'm going to pass just the attendance list. Uh, Andres Joel. Andres, hello, are you there? Hello. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, perfect. Cindy Melanie. Is this Cindy here? Cindy, are you there? Okay, I think she's not there. Let's move. Stephanie Michel. Present. Ah, okay, nice. Ivania Jamilet. Present. Perfect. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay, she's not here. I'm gonna put this here now. Uh, let's continue. Joanna Saray. I'm here. Okay, cool. Let's move. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. 
Jose Edgar. Present. All right, very good. Juan Emanuel. Emanuel, Emanuel. No, I think Emanuel left. Okay, but Emanuel was there. Uh, Juan Gilberto is not here. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, perfect. Karen Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Carla Lisset. Present. Okay, very good. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Very good. Verónica Arely. Present. Very nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Okay, William is, is not yet there. And the next, Siomar Elizabeth. Present. Perfect. Carlos Josue. Present teacher. Okay, nice. And Reynaldo Chavez. It is not here. Okay, so cool. Let's continue with these things. Give me one second. We're gonna see some things before before starting with the with the, the homeworks in the manual. Give me one second. I'm gonna show you this. Let's go straight to this. No sé si, si, si notaron en la parte del give me one second. En la parte de la conversación al lado tenían estas pequeñas imágenes. Okay. In which one of them it says headquarters and then the other one it says branch. This is just to show the difference between a headquarter and a branch. Uh, ¿Qué decíamos que es headquarter? Sede. Okay, let's say the customer matriz for my company. It says, uh, Veronica, help me out reading the information of, about headquarters. The place where a company or organization has its main office. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you. Listen up. The place where a company or organization has its main office, right? Es básicamente el lugar donde una compañía o organización tiene básicamente sus oficinas principales, right? Oficinas centrales. Cool. What is a bank branch on the other hand? All right, Carla, help me out in what is a branch for? A shoes or offices representing mm -hmm. a, a large company or organization in a particular area. Area. Ah, okay, cool. Listen up. A shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area, right? So, básicamente, eso es lo que significa una branch. Es básicamente una oficina, right? O una tienda representando, okay, a una compañía grande, por así decirlo, o organización en un área determinada. So, that's the meaning of headquarters and branch. Remember, uh, oficina central, por así decirlo, y sucursal, right? That's the way. Now, let's put about the industry related to the vocabulary. Let me see. Cool. Look at this. We have the first one. The beauty and personal care industry. Right? Ahorita vamos a hablar sobre las diferentes industrias o vamos a presentar vocabulario de las diferentes industrias que podemos okay, uh, tener presentes o catalogadas right, dentro de un mercado. So, the beauty and personal care industry. Let me see. Who can help me read in this? Jorge, help me read in the second one. 
the construction industry. Okay, cool. The construction industry, right? The industry of the construction. That's one of them. Okay, Joanna. Mande. Read the third example. Eh, ¿Cuál teacher? Todavía estoy en lo que estoy. Ah, number three. The textile industry. Textile industry, okay. Textile. Very good. Yeah, I mean, you said it's textile, right? Very good. Give me one second. Who's this in? Uh, okay, cool. All right, I hope, I hope you can listen now, Carlos. Let's see, Jose Elgar. Let's read the next one. Hola. Read the telecommunication. The telecommunication industry. Ah, okay, industry. very good. Thank you, Mister. Telecommunication industry. Okay, when it comes to a specific lines of cell phones, right, and all those things. Cool. Next, Raquel. The financing industry. Okay, good. The finance industry, that's another one. All right. Michelle. Hola, teacher. Read the example, Michelle. Uh, the out, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? Automotive. Auro con R. Automotive. Automotive. Uh -huh. The automotive industry. Ah, okay, very good. The automotive industry, industry automotriz. All right. So if you want, take a note about that. Si usan tome notas o alguna captura de eso para poder pasar, okay? Because this is just just the general feedback that we are providing. ¿Qué dijo que significaba? Industry automotriz. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the one. That's what it means. Let me know when you finish copying that, okay? Finish. Good. I see some people that are writing down yet. Okay, cool. Let's continue. I think you got you got the ones, right? You got enough. Let's go. The packaging industry. So that's another one, right? The packaging industry. Let's put the next one. Wendy. The Beverage, I, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, beverage. the beverage. The beverage, beverage industry. Ah, okay, the beverage industry. <laughs> what is that, people? What is beverage? Any idea? I can't hear you. I can't hear ah. you very well, teacher, sorry. Ah, okay, it is okay. A... All right, no problem, Carlos. Okay, beverage industry basically refers to the industry of drinks. Like La Constancia, I think that's the one, all right? Uh, like Coca-Cola and all those things. Industrias de la bebida. Beverage significa bebida, okay? Let's remember that. Okay, next. The tourism industry. Remember that that's part of an industry, right? When it comes to tourism, that's a big company behind the, the 
the people who are as a tourist in the country, right? Cool. Next. Let me see who, Xiomara. The pharmaceutical industry. Ah, okay, very good, the pharmaceutical industry. Everything related to medicines, right? That goes to a, a pharmacy. And that's pretty much what we have. So this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Cool, any question with that? Any questions with uh, the vocabulary related to the industry? ¿Alguna pregunta con relación a, a este vocabulario relacionado a la industria? What is the mean? Que, what is the mean? Beverage. Beverage. ¿Qué decíamos que era beverage? Mm, bebida. Una... All right, oh, okay. exactly. It's, it's, a, it's mostly related to drink. Es más que todo uh, relacionado a las bebidas. All right. Y ahí omitimos el verbo drink y ponemos esta parte de acá, que sería el noun, beverage. Cool. Uh, do, you finish, do you finish copying that? Did you finish, guys? Sí. Ok, perfecto. I guess you have already finished. Good. Antes de pasar al tema central uh, de la actividad, we're going to do some extra activities related to the platform. And in the platform right now, you guys are going to be working in the pair work number four. Let's go here. All right. Esa es parte de la misma eh, eh, página que hemos estado trabajando. Listen up. I'm going to explain a little bit this. Look, it says pair work. List three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Listen, in this case in here, we are not going to put, you know, different companies. What we are going to be doing basically is uh, that since you're going to be working in pairs or in trios, you are going to be talking about the company, okay, to which industry belongs the company that you are working for. Aquí básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es colocar al tipo de industria que la empresa o compañía donde estamos trabajando pertenece, okay, that's it. Para no estar eh, poniendo otros, y supongamos que Carlos trabaja con Julio, o so Carlos Acá puede colocar la información sobre, su, sobre la empresa, ¿ok? La industria eh, eh, para la cual él trabaja. Y luego Julio puede dar acá su información también. Y ahí llenan el recuadro acá, ¿ok? WhatsApp. Acá el nombre de la compañía. Company. The name. Branches. ¿Cuántas, cuántas branches tiene? ¿Ok? El número de sucursales, por así decirlo. En el país. En the headquarters, ¿dónde están eh, ubicados eh, las oficinas centrales o casa matriz o como usted le quiera llamar? Right? So that's what you're going to be doing in that case. Entonces, en este ejercicio es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Right? Only in this one. Ahora bien, cuando terminemos este, nos vamos a ir directamente a esta parte. ¿Qué dice? Listen. Match the product and service to the corresponding industry type. Aquí lo que vamos a hacer es Básicamente, enlazar el producto o servicio con la industria o el tipo de industria o la industria correspondiente. Por ejemplo, look at this. We have uh, banks. O sea, los bancos, right? Banks. What is that? It goes the number one in here because it is related to the finance industry. Okay. Entonces los bancos están dentro de la categoría de eh, la industria de la finanza. Por eso tenemos el número uno ahí. Entonces ahí el número me lo van a estar colocando. Ok. Related to this. As soon as you finish that, 
cuando ya terminemos esa parte, nos vamos a venir para acá. Dice, write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of the business below. Share your sentence with a partner, he says. We have fresh and live. He says, at fresh and live, we distribute soft drinks. All right, we are in the beverage industry. Fix and care. Okay, in here, me van a colocar una pequeña de definición tal y como está acá arriba sobre qué es fix and care. Right, luego enjoy and travel over here. Right, and then business bank in here. Okay, what is a business bank about? A qué se refiere con, right, negocio de bancos. Okay, so we're going to be talking about that. And then the Zan Resort. Okay, in here. ¿Qué hace este hotel? Porque el de Sun Resort es básicamente un hotel. ¿Qué hace? ¿En qué eh, industria está? Ok, cool. Acá, para que no se me van a confundir demasiado, relacionen esta parte, ok, con un lugar de trabajo de, 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 determinado y luego me coloquen nada más el tipo de industria a los que ustedes creen que estas empresas trabajan. That's it. Nos vamos a quedar hasta ahí, al menos en esa parte. Okay, so that's what we are going to be doing. So I'm going to stop sharing the information because I'm going to send you to work with those things, okay? Porque entonces ya nos vamos a trabajar con esas, con esas actividades. Cool. Uh, antes de comenzar, do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? En alguna? Las dos vamos a hacer de una vez. Yes, actually the three of them. De hecho, las tres, son tres. Oh. Ya, yeah. nomás termine una, comenzamos con la otra, ¿ok? Y así sucesivamente. Solo, solo una duda, Ticha, en yes. Branches es el lugar donde, donde está el lugar de, de la distribución. De la... Eh, yes, o inclusive ahí en la zona de Branches lo que puede colocar es el número de Branches que tiene. ¿Y cuántas son? Ok. okay. Yeah, man, we can put that one. Podemos inclusive colocar esas. Okay, y en Headquarters, los nombres. Headquarters básicamente es la casa matriz, por así decirlo, o la oficina central. In that case, yeah, I mean, it's not necessary to write down, okay, something exclusive in that case. Ajá. No, como eh, no headquarters no básicamente lo que me va a colocar ahí es dónde está la oficina central o la sede, por así decirlo, right? Where? ¿Dónde? Ah, ok. Sure. Yes. Y uh, donde en la sede... Could be the country. Yes, it's all over the country. Cuando me refiero aquí a branches y, y lo de headquarters, aquí estamos tomando en consideración the whole country, right? En todo el país, por así decirlo. Just in this country. Exactly, just in this country. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Duda? No? Okay, cool. Let's go to work, guys. Give me one second. I think I don't have any other one to complete. Okay, I'm going to open up the same uh, breakout rooms. Let's go to work, guys. I'm going to be checking you. If you have any question, uh, when, you, uh, when you see me there, ask. Okay? Let's ask. Let's accept them. Let's accept the invitation, please. Demos de aceptar a la invitación para podernos agregar y poder practicar, please. A hacer las actividades del manual. Andrés, José, Edgar, William, Carlos. Okay, let's accept them, please, please, people.
Okay, I guess most of you are, are in there, right? I'm just gonna make some moves. Andres, Carlos, and Cindy. Hola, hola, teacher. Yeah, tratemos de entrar al breakout room porque ya están todos ahí, incluidos, en la cual van a desarrollar de manera a uh, grupal lo de las tareas. All right, see you there. Hola. Voy a hacer la... Si es así, mm -hmm. hago la cinco. Usted, Carlos. Compañeros, eh, se comentaba que ando algo perdido porque por la lluvia que era tan fuerte, no entendí nada lo que decía el teacher, porque es un ruido bien fuerte que se escucha, pero ahorita ya bajo un poco la lluvia. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Disculpe. Casi tengo la cinco hecha. No sé, pero si la va a hacer usted ya, no la sigo haciendo. Ok, Carlos. ¿Do you listen to me? Vamos hablar entre todos, entonces. Sí, lo escucho, teacher, dígame. Cool, Carlos. Explicaba, Carlos, que eh, abajito de la conversación aparece esta, esta parte acá, donde dice que va, aquí vamos a poner el nombre de tres empresas. En este caso lo van a hacer las empresas de ustedes. Acaban a colocar eh, de los lugares donde trabajan ustedes los nombres. Luego acá, si tiene branches, si tiene sucursales, ¿cuántas sucursales son? Y acá los headquarters, ¿dónde está localizado el headquarters? Oh, ok. Entonces podemos poner, por ejemplo... Como compañía podemos poner este Chávez Travel, un ejemplo. Y como branches podemos poner sucursales. I have three, I have three branches, un ejemplo. Exactly. Y, y los headquarters, básicamente la locación, ¿dónde están? Teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, Ivani. bueno, con, con respecto a donde yo trabajo, eh, si hay sucursales, están en otros países. Ah, entonces póngalo, no hay ningún problema. Como ya es algo que están fuera del país, igual, pero póngalo. ¿Y si no me sé la dirección? No, exacta. simplemente, no, no, vaya, no dirección. Porque exacta, los nombres no, 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 la no dirección sé los nombres exacta. de los sucursales. No la dirección exacta, pero sí se sabe en qué países están. Ah, oh, España, Estados Unidos, Panamá, Concord. Va, entonces coloque algunos países de estos ahí, ¿no? o sea, de modo general. Okay. Sí, sí. Ajá. Si, si es como Ivania dice, ¿cómo podrían poner en, en, en branches? Hola. Si es como Ivania dice, por ejemplo, quiero decir que una sucursal está en Hong Kong, un ejemplo, ¿cómo podría decirlo? En branches. Solo póngale el número acá a un lado y luego el lugar, Hong Kong. Ajá. Por ejemplo, three branches en Hong Kong. Exacto. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, me la idea. Estamos, teacher. Perfecto. Okay. Una empresa cada uno. Una empresa cada uno. Vaya, así es. Vamos a hacer una empresa cada uno. Uh -huh. La cuatro está viendo fuerte aquí en Santa Tecla. Vaya, es la G. La cuatro es la G. Eh, la la número building. cinco building. ¿Qué era building? No me acuerdo, yo voy a ver. What are you talking about? Teacher, building. Building puede ser un edificio. Ah, edificio. Ah, pues. eh, es de construcción industry. La B, ¿verdad? Yes. La 5 es la B. 
Luego mm. dice mobile phone. Y la número. Ah, ok. Pero si quiere trate de, de completarla y comparamos. Sí, bye. Yo y en Teacher, yo, yo, te, yo tengo una duda, teacher. Ajá, te voy a Carlos. En, en, en la palabra fix, el de arreglar, va, pero en arreglo, ¿cómo es que situación de reparar? O, o, uh -huh. Es yes. la palabra es. Yes, reparar. Uh -huh. Y el cuidado. Reparar y cuidado, ok. Ah, pues. Ok, esa duda tenía. Ok. Entonces, de reparar el cuido, este, yo sí me imagino que es en la industria de los automóviles, industria. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, yo la vamos a poner automóviles, industria. Entonces, para formar la oración, el fixen care, nosotros, nosotros, no sería allí fix. Nosotros, nosotros. Sí, trata de arreglar. O sea, podemos decir we fix and care. Eh, all types of automobiles. Así, así se nosotros fix and Ajá, care. o sea, arreglan y cuidan todo tipo de automóviles. No sé. Desde todo desde tipo, desde todo desde tipo, todo tipo de automóviles, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yo pienso que si podemos escribir. Y el otro es en Joy en Travel. Este es un guide to. ¿Cómo no lo escuché? La segunda es Guide to Guías Turísticos. Así es. Ah, no. The Tourist Industry. Uh -huh. The Tourist. We plan to tour. Estudiando. Estudiando verbo. Uh -huh. Y turismo, ¿cómo se dice? Tourism. Tourism. That's the way. Estamos en el último teacher, pero. Ah, ok, very good. No nos funciona mucho la imaginación. Ah, come on. Tiene que ser no somos buenos para planes estratégicos a corto Man. plazo. Trabajar bajo presión no mucho. A speed sign. No, no, no. La ni les creo. Ni les creo. Vaya. Entonces. Business bank. Ay, ¿cómo podríamos poner? Mm. Es como una, una descripción nada más de qué hacen o, como, o así como el primer ejemplo, como si fuésemos parte de la compañía. Like if you were part of the company. Ay. <laughs> Vaya.
y la segunda teacher fits in car, como más o menos a qué se refiere. Fix and care. Uh -huh. You mean that one, right? Yeah, I mean that's fix and care. Like, like that's related to can be related to, to, to a lot of things. Reparar y cuidar. Or reparo y cuido. What is that? Mm. What do you think is that? Fix and care mm, lo yeah. podemos relacionar, por, por ejemplo, in my opinion, to the car industry, a la industria ah. automotriz, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Right. Vaya. Nice, man. let's continue. I think in five minutes we are okay. 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 La, la segunda de Fits and Care. Mm, no sé si está bien de poner, como dice, arreglar y cuidar. Me imagino que podríamos poner como para mantener la belleza. Arreglar y cuidar para mantener la belleza, porque no sé, yo así lo me baso. No sé si está correcto. Sí, yo creo que es eso de la belleza, pero. Ya le vi la cara. Ajá. ¿Qué cara pone así como que? Ah, no, es que me acabo de echar esto <ríe> ah, okay. y por eso estoy así como okay. que así con los ojos así como que, sí, así como que... Ah, ah, ah. <ríe> ya lo que pasa es que me arden eh, debido a que el, el ventilador estaba así como dándome de, de frente entonces como que se me estaban resecando y ah, me okay. ya tomé la brillante idea de ponerme esto acá y me arde <ríe> ok <ríe> no pero ya yeah, it, it works no ahí va a depender de ustedes listen It depends on you. Ahí va a depender de ustedes en qué tipo de industria pueden colocar esta parte. También puede ser, eh, eh, por así decirlo, en la industria automotriz. Como dice Fix and Care también. Eh, aunque puede también ser eh, lo que se está mencionando. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. That depends on your perspective. Ok. Yeah, man. That's cool. Va, yo le he puesto, yo le he dejado en la nueve, la, la después la, la cinco no, B. La soft green no puede ser turismo. La de ¿Cuál? turismo es la de virtud. La tres es con la con el con el, la letra I. Sí, Ay, pero yo... Ya me entendió. Permítame. Ya vamos a hacer la comparación. Teacher, qué un vaso de agua, créame. <risa> ¿Really? Hasta se metió el agua, papá. Él le digo todo. Ah. Sí, me pasó el agua. Yo pensé que estaba topado, estaba bien topado todo, pero estaba goteando aquí por el cielo falso. Uy, y por lo general, por lo general cuando el cielo falso se moja, se hace amarillo. Sí, es duro eso, entonces ya, yo tengo que ver eso, pero como tengo poco tiempo, hasta el fin de semana me toca. Uf, y más ahora que está lloviendo todas las, todas las noches. Todas las noches, si así yo como... Ya, yeah, mini here is a starting. Acá parecía que no iba a llover porque cuando comencé la clase, antes de comenzar la clase, salí y estaba todo eh, estrellado. Right. Había bastantes, se miraban bastantes estrellas y todo, pero ya está comenzando a llover acá. Bueno, ni modo, Chicho. Anyway. Ya, yeah, mini.
ya tienes el manual, Carlos. Creo que hay que dar un modo. Ah, ya, mi amigo. You are yet in, in, in the page where you're working related to... Twenty. I am in uh, to exercise five, right? You are on exercise five. Okay, just to confirm it, las de ejercicio cinco, por ejemplo, teníamos que la número uno es bank, right? Eh, en la letra E, eh, the finance industry. Okay, what about number two? Stop drink. ¿Dónde tienen la de soft drink? La H. Oh. Ah, ok, La 3 es la I, que es virtual, es de turismo industry. Very good. Now, if la... you have finished that one, bueno, si ya terminaron esa, ya partieron a la otra. Number 6. Básicamente ahí está como básica, eh, digamos por así decirlo, that's the expertise, okay, from an industrial classification. Ahí lo que vamos a colocar es el nombre de la industria que ustedes creen que pertenece a esas frases, okay, y una breve reseña de qué de qué trata, okay. Tal y como tiene el ejemplo, fresh and live, it says, and live. A, at fresh and live, we distribute soft drinks. Ah, distribuimos bebidas, you know, like, 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 like sodas and all those things. We are in the beverage industry. So, fix and care. Si hablan de fix and care, ¿a qué ustedes creen que se refiere? ¿A qué industria lo podrían ustedes clasificar? Es, podría a la de Hard Salon Service. Well, okay, you can even say that one. Mm -hmm. All right, so put that one in there. Okay, and continue with the other one. Podría decir at fix and care. Um, we have salon service. Okay. Yeah, you can even say that one. No uh, problem. Y se le puede poner también el complemento de, de, por ejemplo, de que dice the beautiful and personal care industry. Yeah, you can even say that. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Cool. That's complete, right? And I'm going to check another group. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ya terminamos. Are you finished? Yeah. Sí. Perfect, perfect. So, let's move on. Entonces, sí, ahora sí, vámonos a la sala principal ya, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. Okay. See you there. Uh, so these people is coming. So when did you finish, right? 
Sí. Ah, ok, very good. Ok, people, let's start over. I'm going to start with... Uh, Give me one second. I have to eliminate. Okay, let's just stay with this one. I'm gonna project it over here. This is the first one, right? So this is the first one. Wendy, what is the name of the company that you put? Vaya, no sé si comprendí bien, quiero ver si me escuchan. Este, allí vamos a poner el nombre de la empresa, ¿verdad? That's right. Y ahí le puse la chapina SADCB. Ajá. En Branches, eh, tiene cuatro sucursales. Ajá. Y la casa matriz está en el departamento de La Paz. No sé si es cierto. Oh, ok, cool. That's in ah, La Paz. Okay. Who were you working with? No, no llegó nadie. You were working alone? Sí. Sí, es solito. Man, but I assigned you something. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. Eh, uh, se le había asignado a Manuel, pero creo que justo en, en, el, en el movimiento, Manuel se, se le ha de ver. Eh, caído toda la señal. Caído la señal. Ya, yeah, mi niño se va a conectar. So probably that's why. Okay, cool, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Xiomara, what do you have in that part? Sorry. Mention the name of a company, then the branches, if he, they have, and they have right. Carlos, Rancher. There are two branches. Uh-huh. In San Salvador. Ah, in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. And the headquarter? Both in San Salvador. Ah, that's in San Salvador too. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. pretty interesting. Cool. Who are you working with? Carlos. Ah, okay, cool. So you were working with Carlos. Ah, but sí, Carlos. Ella, 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 este, ella le describió al mío. Okay, now I'll read yours. Carlos, how about you? Ah, sí, ese. Ella le describió el mío, entonces yo le describí, yo le voy a decir el de ella. Ajá. The company, the the company's Xiomara Textile La Paz. Ah, okay. Two two branches, one in El Salvador in another United States. Ah, okay. Headquarters, Headquarters Rosario de La Paz. In La Paz, Very El good. Salvador. Okay, perfect. All right, nice, Carlos. Thank you. So you get done. Uh, Veronica, how about you? I'm just going to ask some of you to do this. My company. Yes. Um, my company is Sport Institute, um, branches 20 or more than 20. <laughs> or more than 20. <laughs> Hardquarters in San Salvador. Only in San Salvador? Um, no, en los 14 departamentos, pero no ah, se puede. Ah, in the country. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero esas son las branches. En ah. the quarters, en in San Salvador. Ah, ok, cool. There you go. Nice. Who were you? Ah, you were working with Julio. Cool. Julio, how about you? Uh, a company is Fundaungo and Braches. Two 
en Headquarters de San Salvador, Escalón. Ah, ok, very good. Thank you, Julio, Veronica. Now, Carla, you were working with uh, Karen, right? Para ese bote yes. solo. Digo el mío. Yes. Ah, ok. Eh, company Alemán Soto y Asociados, Branches One, eh, Headquarters eh, San Salvador. Company Funda Hungo, Branches Two, Headquarters San Salvador. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. Now let's move on. Let's move. Uh, Andres? Andres, are you there? Okay, I think Andres is not there. Uh, let's move. Let's move then. Michelle? Con Jorge. Okay, Michelle, mention one of the enterprises that you were uh, doing the information. Eh, the company Banco Azul del Salvador, eh, 12 branches, eh, the central office is, is located in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, the company Kinetica branches two branches. Okay. In my case, and the headquarters, the central office is located in Plaza Merliot. Mm, okay, very good. Nice, right? Thank you, okay. Jorge and Michelle. Now, Raquel. Raquel, are you there? Sure. Okay, cool. Can you share your information about your company? About mine? Yes. Um, the company's consortium Nippon Koi uh -huh. uh, have nine branches. Perfect. And the headquarters is in Panama. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Very good. Who were you working with, Raquel? Alone. Alone, really? Yes. Okay. I thought you were with someone else. Okay, so you must have worked with, with Wendy. But anyways, for the next one. Joanna, are you there? Aquí está ahí, pero no lo hice, teacher, lo siento. So you're, you're, it's okay. the same than me. <laughs> All right. Ah, it's the same one. Okay, that's yes. even better. That's even better. Okay. Jose Edgar. <laughs> yeah, Jose Edgar, are you there? Le tocó conmigo, pero los dos me dejaron solo al final. Oh. Okay, he's there. He's there. Okay, Jose Edgar, give me information about your company. Uh, Nippon Koi. Bridge, El Salvador, Panama. Y si no me equivoco, el hardware es en Japón. Si no, que me corrijan mis compañeros. 15 años están de trabajar ahí. <laughs> A nivel mundial, sí, pero Latinoamérica es en Panamá, viejo. Ah, pues ahí es Howard, dice, no. <risa> bueno, sí, es mi Japón. Ah, pues. Ah, pues. <risa> <risa> bueno. Ok, man, thank you. Now, uh, Ivania. Mm, bueno, él dijo la de él, entonces digo la mía. Yes, say yours, no problem. Okay, textiles en company, textiles La Paz, and branch El Salvador y Estados Unidos, y headquarters El Rosario La Paz. Thank you, Vania. 
Andrés, now are you there, man? Faltaba Carlos, éramos tres. Well, ah, ya, yeah, pero Carlos, creo que debido a los problemas que tiene con el internet, se desconectó. Ok, va a pasar asistencia. Ya, yeah, ahora pasa asistencia, sí. Solo voy, okay. a, eh, solo voy a terminar con Andrés, si es que está acá. Eh, y luego mañana vamos a terminar de eh, revisar las otras que faltan, ¿ok? Eh, la de matching de exercises y lo otro. Right, so, ya para no tenerlos tanto tiempo acá. So, Andrés, are you there? This is me, Andrés probably fall asleep. Ok, but anyways, I was going to be like checking that uh, into it. Listen, listen up. Para mañana, people. Because, because it's like, it's 10 or 3 already. Para mañana, vamos a revisar esta parte, ¿ok? Porque yo sé que ya la terminaron. Y vamos a revisar esta otra, ¿ok? We're going to put that one into, into the context. We're going to check those two. Si no me terminaron esta parte, rellénela con su información personal, right? Uh, de acuerdo a ustedes, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? ¿A qué industria creen ustedes que pertenecen cada uno de ellos? ¿Ven? Right? Put it in here. Eso es lo único que van a hacer en esa parte, ¿ok? And tomorrow, we are going to be uh, just checking that information at the beginning of the class. En el feedback que demos de, de la clase, ahí vamos a revisar esas, esas oraciones y esos ejercicios que estuvieron eh, haciendo, ¿ok? We're going to do that. So I'm going to pass the attendance list just to uh, finish, ¿ok? Give me one second. So, Andrés Joel. Andrés, are you there? Okay, he's not there. Carlos Mauricio. Present, teacher. Good. Cindy Melanie. Cindy Melanie, all right, Cindy's still here. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Thank you, Cindy. Now, next, Ivani Ayamilet. Present teacher. Okay, nice. I have been with the 10 minutes people with you, right, Ivani? Yes, yeah. Okay, perfect. Sí, sí. Thank you, thank you for telling me. Jacqueline Patricia is not here. Joanna Saray. Aquí estoy. Good night. Hey, Joanna. Igual con usted, ¿verdad? Ya estuve con los 10 minutos de feedback. Eh, <risa> está lloviendo y se, me, y se corta. Ah, pero no, 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 no los hemos tenido. No, conmigo no. Today, no problem, eh? today. Ok. Ok. Good, man. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Let's move, Jose Edgar. Jose Edgar. Present. Nice, man. Juan Emanuel. Uh, Juan is not here, I guess. No, it's not here. Let's move, Juan Gilberto. Okay, not here. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Karen Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, very good. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Very good. Let's continue. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Ah, okay, very good. William Ernesto. Uh, William. Ok, ok, no problem. Pero sí, venía escuchando lo que... Ok, nice, man. nice. Sí, Omar, ahí, la, ahí, ahí va a ser la, el ejercicio para mañana. Ok, perfecto, thank you, thank you. Si sí, Omar Elizabeth. Present. Ok, excelente. Uh, Carlos Josué. No, no, Carlos no, no volvió. Uh, and the last one, Reinaldo Chávez. Ok, people. So, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be checking those things tomorrow. Si me deben tarea de la semana pasada, please 
Eh, pongámoslo al día, ok. Because I do really need that, that homework for you people. Uh, así que tengan una excelente noche. Nos vemos mañana, ok. Have a wonderful night, people. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Goodbye, bye teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. Ok, bye, everybody. Hey, where is... What happened with, uh, with the person in here that I was talking about? Give me one second. Okay, she left. That was crazy. All right, mister, see you. Okay, so yeah, uh, today we were talking about one important topic as uh, the other topics, this was what's really important. And basically we were talking about something that is called industry you know like when we talk about industry like what industry is huge and there are classifications we have industries related to automotive we have industry related to cars you know there are industry related to textiles to constructions to packaging beverage tourism and pharmaceutical industry so we have a lot of industries that are, okay, uh, part of the companies that people work. So Joanna is coming. Hi, Joanna. I see you're there, Joanna. So probably the internet is not working properly for Joanna. So the 10 minutes was for her, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So I'm gonna be here for a couple of minutes. So in order to see if she can solve the issue, because it was important for her to have the 10 minutes feedback for today. The microphone, the microphone, the microphone. Hola, hola, hola. Ah, ya, yeah, mira, ahora sí. Es que está lloviendo fuerte, teacher, aquí. Ah, es igual acá, acá también ya comenzó a llover fuerte. Ah, usted es la de Ciudad de San Miguel, ¿cierto? Sí. Ah, se ven las cuáles, con razón. Ahí debió comenzar más, más, más temprano que acá. <ríe> aquí siempre llueve solo en la noche, noche ya para dormirse uno. No, nah, man, it's cool. Eso está bueno porque durante el día podemos hacer las actividades normales. That's nice. Y así pues, Pero imagínense, que en la noche siempre he tenido ese problema, fíjense, en las clases anteriores. Ay, ¿En serio? ¿Cuál era? <risa> oh, my God. No, but anyways, we are here. Listen up. Antes de que se nos vaya a ir al internet. Uh, remember, these 10 minutes are just for you to clarify any question that you may have with the topic that we started today and the previous topics. So, básicamente, eh, como usted sabe, los 10 minutos de feedback son para eh, retroalimentar algo que usted no tenga del todo claro con relación a los temas que hemos visto o si hay alguna pregunta que ha surgido, ok, a raíz de la práctica. 
So I don't know if you have any questions with the topics that we were discussing. Fíjese, teacher, que yo he estado viendo las clases porque como he estado, si se fijó, falté un par de días porque estaba, yes. no sé qué, con mi tratamiento. Uh -huh. Hay varias cosas que no le entiendo, o sea, le tendría que hacer una lista, pero más que todo fue con el tema de los boys, no me acuerdo, boys y algo así, que se trataba de varios. Eh, creo que fue por la clase de ya, nosotros comenzamos el martes, creo, ¿verdad? Miércoles. Miércoles, creo que fue la clase del viernes. Ah, usted me está hablando de la Passive Voice. Esa, ah, esa. Passive Incluso voice. como trabajamos Raquel, este, Andrés, Patty, eh, Jacqueline Ajá. y Edgar juntos, medio me han estado es, es, explicando, pero no les entiendo. <risa> ok, ok, cool. Aquí ahora somos, se lo voy a explicar eh, eh, para que lo entienda de mejor manera. Listen, en inglés tenemos dos tipos de voice. Uno es active voice y el otro es passive voice. Ahora bien, uh -huh. el active voice es básicamente la forma en como nosotros hablamos casi todo el tiempo. Que uh -huh. vaya, si hablamos de la estructura consiste en el subject, plus verb, plus complement. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. yo puedo decir, Joana uh, drives a car. Ah, Joana maneja un carro o conduce un carro, ¿ok? That's uh -huh. a normal sentence, una relación en voz activa o active voice. Ahora bien, ¿cómo transformar esta active voice en una passive voice? Ahora bien, tomando la estructura de la passive voice. El passive voice es el subject plus, look at this, plus, ok, B, plus verb, pero este verbo tiene que ir en past participle, pasado participio, o la tercera forma de verbo. Usted, ma usted mandó esa lista. Exactamente, mandé un PDF con eso. Y la lista, la línea o la columna en este caso que me interesaba que ustedes pusieran un poco de atención es en la tercera, que dice past participle. And then the complement. Vaya, tenemos esta, esta, esta parte acá. Listen. ¿Para qué nos sirve la active voice? Vaya, la active voice nos sirve para enfatizar que el sujeto hace una acción. ¿Ok? To emphasize that the subject does an action. Por ejemplo, en la oración, Joanna drives a car. Se enfoca más o enfatiza más a la persona. En este caso, a usted. ¿Ok? Que usted hace okay. la acción. Pero básicamente nos estamos enfocando en quién hace la acción. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, en lo de passive voice. This one is different. ¿Por qué es diferente? Porque acá ya no nos importa quién hace la acción, sino que lo más importante y lo que nos enfatizamos acá es básicamente la acción que se ha hecho. Esa es la que importa más. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo así? Look at this. ¿Ok? Acá vamos a comenzar con el complemento de la active voice. A car. Ahora bien, si el verbo en la active voice está en presente simple, entonces el verbo to be tiene que ir en presente simple. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo así? En presente simple del verbo to be tiene tres formas. ¿De acuerdo? Am, uh -huh. is, uh -huh. are. Y acá como decimos a car, estamos hablando de una tercera persona o sea un singular. Por eso tiene que ir is. Is. ¿Ok? A car is, ahora el verbo principal, que es el verbo conducir. Pero acá en pasado participio, según la estructura. Y ese es driven. A car is oh. driven. Y ahora, hasta ahí la oración está bien. Ahora, ¿queremos agregar quién hizo la acción? Claro que sí la podemos agregar. Y podemos colocar by para decir por y luego la palabra o el subject. Joanna. You see? A car is driven by Joanna. 
Pero eh, verdad que, teacher, ajá. perdón, verdad, pero verdad que hubo una que las hizo como en forma negativa. Ajá, ya. Ok. Ya le voy a explicar esa parte también. Vaya, entonces acá literalmente dice, un carro es conducido por Joana. Entonces acá, como le menciono, la acción es la que cuenta más. Enfatizamos más la acción que la persona que la hace. ¿Ok? Ok. Another one. Otra. The chief El ladrón roba dinero. The, the chief steals money. Ahora, ¿cómo sería en una frase, boys, Joana? Primero tiene que ir money. Ah, ok. Money. Eh, is. Ok, money is. Y ahora, Aquí el verbo el... sería steal. Eh, no, es un verbo irregular. Y en la forma pasada participia de ese verbo es Stolen. Ah, stolen. Yes. Money is stolen. Y si queremos colocar quién hizo la acción, by the chief. You see? Y esa es la forma en cómo nosotros hacemos oraciones de active voice, pasarlas a passive voice. Good. Voy a Another tomar word. captura, teacher. Ok. Otro ejemplo. Look. The dog The dog bites the woman. El perro muerde a la mujer. ¿Cómo sería en passive voice, Joana? Woman. Ok, the woman. The woman. Es en tercera persona siempre, ¿verdad? Y, pero la, la, esa sería beat them. ¿Cómo? Sería beat them. Ajá. By the dog. No. Yes. Like that. You see? So that one is the way, uh, esa es la forma entonces como creamos, you see? Oraciones en passive voice. No sé si es que va, vamos comprendiendo ahora cómo funciona. Sí, eh, hoy sí. En el listen, momento. listen, listen. En la passive voice siempre va a ir el verbo to be. Y después del verbo to be, tiene que ir el verbo principal en pasado participio, no pasado simple, pasado participio. Ok. okay? That's the way. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo nosotros podemos crear este tipo de oraciones, ¿ok? So, ¿ok? A partir de una active voice, transformarla en una passive voice. Ok. So, Joana, ¿Alguna otra pregunta, Joana? Por ahora, con esto. Eh, ahorita que esto sí ya, ya, ya me quedó claro. Ay, qué barbaridad. Ay, ya estoy preguntando y nadie me pudo explicar. <risa> Ay, ya. Yeah. No, teacher, pero gracias. Ok, all right, no problem. Ya sabe que para eso estamos acá para ayudarnos, ok. Eh, okay. Probablemente a futuro volvamos a tener unas 10 minutos de, de retroalimentación, dependiendo de cómo estemos en el desarrollo, ok, con los compañeros. Ok, right, thank Joanna? you. Cool, Joanna. Bueno, time to sleep, Joanna. Go to sleep, all right? Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. Bye. Ok, bye.